So it's that time of the month again? Favorites. So as you can see, I am sitting back at my desk and you can see my bookcase again, which has gotten a lot more books as you can see. Um, but anyway, it is like almost seven o'clock at night and this is the only time that I'm going to have to get my favorites video filmed because uh, I've just been super busy with school and work and family and personal life things that this is literally the only time that I have to do this. So even though it's getting late and it's dark and the lighting sucks, I'm just going to sit down and go through this so that I can get it up for you all, hopefully before the end of the month this time. So I've got all my stuff laid out on the desk in front of me, um, and I realized that all of it's pretty much face stuff, um, but that has been like my problem this month. Like, as you can see, I am super broken out on this side of my face still. It was all up this side of my jawline as well. Like I said, super stressful month. Um, so 90% of this is face stuff. If you want to see my favorite face stuff of this month, please keep on watching. So I'm just going to start with what I've been using to get my face clean this month. As you know, I use the Clinique uh, Take Off the Day cleansing balm to take all of my makeup off my face. Like, as I said last month, that stuff just literally melts the makeup off your face. But to help combat my acne problem that I seem to be having this month, I have been using the L'Oreal Go360 Clean uh, in the Anti-Breakout which has salicylic acid in it. I believe it's like 2% salicylic acid. Yeah. Um, and that just really helps to dry out acne and bring up all the bad stuff uh, to the surface. So it all just clears up all at the same time and goes away very quickly. I definitely recommend this uh, foundation. Pfft, no. Face wash if you are having acne problems. This is a very good face wash. For acne prone skin. And then these are the next favorite. I guess these kind of go together because they're kind of the same thing. They both have the active ingredient of charcoal in them. And this one is the Michael Todd True Organics Jojoba Charcoal Facial Scrub. Um, and then this one is the Giovanni Detox Purifying Facial Mask with charcoal and volcanic ash in it. Uh, the charcoal is a purifying agent and it just helps to clean out your pores, which I obviously needed this month. So I have been using these. This Michael Todd is a deluxe sample and I will definitely be purchasing the full size of it. I'm not sure where to get it, but I will find out and maybe put it in the down bar, link it or something. Uh, and then this is available at Whole Foods, So, but these have definitely helped to dry out the acne that has already been on my skin. So try these out if you have acne issues. I normally use the Neutrogena or the Biore makeup wipes and I've heard a couple other um, YouTubers say that the Neutrogena ones are not as like liquidy as they used to be and there's not as much product on the wipes as there used to be and I would definitely have to agree with that. I feel like the Biore ones are the same way. So I picked these up. These are the Yes2 grapefruit ones and these are actually bigger like they take up this whole package so they're like the size of like baby wipes I would guess would be comparable. I don't know. Um, but these have a large amount of, a large amount, they have a lot of liquid on them. They're very um, moist. I don't like that word, but that's the only word I can use to describe them. Um, they're cleansing, exfoliating, and brightening. And I'm not sure how exfoliating or brightening they are, but they definitely make my skin feel good after I use them. They don't necessarily dry out my skin. Um, and I really like these. They smell like grapefruit, so if you don't like the smell of grapefruit, I definitely wouldn't get these. But I would try the other ones in this line because those are also good products as well. So to break up my face products, I'm going to do this lipstick, which I actually have on today. It is the new Urban Decay lipstick in the color Anarchy, and I just have a sample of it. It is very pink. Obviously, you can see how pink it is. I'm not going to swatch it since I've already got it on my lips. Um, um, it's not drying. It's super, actually kind of moisturizing to the lips, and I really enjoy, I'm cutting my head off, that... It doesn't dry out my lips. It's kind of um, like a creamy satin finish. Um, so I probably will purchase this color and maybe one or two more when I run out of this sample. So this next product I was actually super impressed with. It is the Victoria's Secret Pro Airbrush Effects Perfecting Primer with a broad spectrum SPF of 19. Um, as you can see, the packaging is very nice, very sleek, streamlined. Um, packaging, it has a pump, it says it smooths, as it perfects, and I definitely agree 
with it smoothing out my skin. I don't know about perfection, like perfecting, but it definitely smooths out my skin. Um, and it holds the product on my face, so I was actually pleasantly surprised with this Victoria's Secret makeup product. Probably should have thrown this in after the face washes, but I was trying to break up the monotony of all the skincare products. But um, this is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion, and I have fallen in love with this. It's the new moisturizer from Clinique. It just came out like at the end of July or the beginning of this month. Um, so they have two different kinds. They have one for dry, very or very dry to like dry combination, which is my skin type, dry combination. Um, then they've got one for oily combination to very oily skin, I believe is what it is. Um, and two different sizes. They've got this one, which is... I don't know how many ounces are in this. Because it doesn't say. But they have one that's just like a squeeze tube instead of a pump top. I got the one with the pump top because I use moisturizer a lot because I have dry skin. Um, this has just definitely rescued my skin this month. Um, keeping my skin feeling like my skin and not feeling like leather. So if you are looking for a good moisturizer that won't make your skin super greasy or super oily, um, I would definitely check out this Clinique one. Next is a BB cream that I was actually pleasantly surprised with and it is from Pacifica. And this is what the tube looks like. It, oh, I can't really see it. Ah, there it is. So that's what the tube looks like. It's got this really pretty flower design um, and that's what the larger size looks like too. This is just a sample size again I get a ton of these every month um but this is the light multi-mineral BB cream all-in-one shade matching technology I'm not very hip on shade matching things I'm not because they just don't work or they're like this didn't do anything um but I feel like this one actually matches my um, skin tone and it helps to even out my skin tone which I needed this month because my skin has just been horrible all around and I hate that um so I've just been using this, and this also has like light reflecting pigment in it, so it just helps make your skin look healthy and dewy and luminous and glowy. Probably not the best for oily skin, but it, it mixes in with whatever you put over it, and that light reflecting pigment just shows through and just makes your skin look wonderful. This next product actually became a favorite after it was something that I purchased the completely wrong color of. Um, but after I purchased it, I went out and got a tan, because I was outside all day and I forgot to wear sunscreen. Don't do that. Um, but anyway, it is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color sand. Um, and it was originally too dark because I was pale still, and it was the middle of summer. But anyway, I bought this. This is a very creamy consistency concealer. It blends super well. It's a doe foot applicator. Not that you can see it because the lighting sucks. Uh, there we go. Um, and it's just a very great concealer. It's very good under the eyes to cover blemishes, to cover any imperfection you have on your skin. If you're looking for a good drugstore concealer, I would definitely recommend this one. It is just a great uh, formula all around. So this next product is also from Victoria's Secret, and I was also pleasantly surprised with this. Like, I'm sure there are products out there that do the exact same thing as this and are much cheaper. Um, this actually wasn't that expensive, but it is the Victoria's Secret Pro Smooth Effects Lip Scrub and Balm. You get the balm, or no, the scrub in the bottom and the balm in the top, and it's just, this is the jar, you, this comes off, and so it's in the jar on the bottom, and it's just a very sh fine uh, sugar scrub, so it smells very uh, sweet and kind of fruity, kind of like a tropical mixed drink, is what it reminds me of. I'm not sure which one, but that's what it reminds me of. And then in the top, you have a, uh, just a very light balm that doesn't smell like anything, which is very nice, because I use this at night and I don't like smelly things around my nose when I'm trying to sleep. Um, but it's super moisturizing, stays on all night, it's still there in the morning when I get up. Um, and it, I was very impressed with how well this works and I really enjoy this product and will probably repurchase it if Victoria's Secret keeps it in their makeup line. Disclaimer, this was my favorite favorite of this month because I was super excited that I found this product and it actually worked and like I could, I'm over the moon about it, that's how excited I am and it is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I have heard so much about this and how well it works compared to something like the Tresemme which doesn't work for me at all. It actually leaves my hair greasier than when I put it in my greasy hair which is strange to me because it's a shampoo. Um, 
but this one is more of like a powdery consistency and it has a light, fresh, clean scent, which is very nice and it's a pleasant smell um, to where I feel like the Tresemme one is not. Um, but anyway, this is a great shampoo. It's kind of on the pricey side. I think this bottle in for five ounces of it was um, almost $8 or something like that. But it is definitely a great shampoo. I actually got this at my local grocery store, which is Kroger. Um, so if you are looking for a dry shampoo that leaves your hair feeling clean, definitely check out the Batiste line of stuff. They also have a volumizing one and a couple other ones too, which I was kind of, I might have to try those. Now on to the products that I absolutely did not like at all this month. So the first two are mascaras and I normally don't venture outside of the mascaras that I like. As you know, I like the Benefit uh, Fake Up and the Maybelline Mega Plush ones are definitely my favorite ones. Um, so for me to like actually try new mascaras is kind of a big thing. And the first one is the Mali Volumizing Mascara. It's in the white pearlescent tube. It's got pink writing on it there. And it's just in black, and the wand is not rubberized or anything, it's just a regular mascara wand that just gives you regular lashes. There's like nothing volumizing about it, there's nothing defining about, well, it defines a little bit I suppose, because it does coat your lashes with something, but I don't know, I don't like it, it's not, it's just been sitting in my makeup drawer since I bought it, so I don't like it, and I'm not very fond of it. And the next one is, it's a sample product, but I like to throw th sample things in here to kind of let you know what I think about them and stuff like that. And it is the Pixi Lash Booster Mascara. There was no boosting to my lashes using this. Um, this is the wand. Again, regular wand, not rubberized. Um, again, it just made my lashes black. This is probably going to be my new car mascara. I keep a mascara in my car just to throw on when I'm in a rush in the morning or something, just to kind of add a little bit of definition to my eyes. So this will probably be that one. Um, not a big fan of it. I thought I would like it. That's why I picked up the sample. It's eh, nothing special. So this next product is a miss, and I'm actually really sad that this is a miss because I really like the idea and the consistency and everything behind this product. Um, but it is when all my acne issues started this month. Um, this came from using this, and this side came also from using this, and it is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Um, like I said, everything I said in my first impressions and in my blog are still true about this product. I love this product, and I love the consistency and the idea and the whole stick foundation thing. It's quick, it's easy, it's super like blendable. It's a great product, it really is. But my skin apparently does not like it. I like it, but my skin doesn't. So it's... It actually makes me really sad that I can't use this because it breaks my skin out so bad. I mean, maybe I might give it another try once my skin clears back up to see if this is actually what broke me out. But right now, like, I noticed I was getting this acne when I was using this, um, which just makes me really sad that I can't use this anymore, and because I really do like this product. It's like, there's not a uh, ingredient list on it, so if you have sensitive skin, I would definitely check into what is in this product. Um, I don't know what's in it that broke me out that my skin just didn't like, so definitely check into what's in this product before you buy it if you have sensitive skin. So that is my hits and misses for this month. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I liked and what I didn't like again this month. Um, if you have used any of these products and you liked them or you didn't like them, leave a comment telling me why below. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Click that button because it is free. Um, I know I haven't done a tutorial in a while either. Like my last three or four videos have been like informational things. Um, but I do have tutorials coming up. I made a list of things that I'm going to do. I'm going to do another make it, make it? Naked palette look. Um, and then I think I'm going to do something with Max Blue Brown Pigment. I think I have a couple looks that I want to do that with. I might do two videos for that. So there are just good things coming up. So 
I hope you all will tune in for my next video, and thank you for watching this one.